so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to test gold with a magnet. Similar to other metals such as silver or copper, gold isn't magnetic. Therefore, it won't stick to a magnet when placed up to it. Now, that doesn't mean that any regular magnet will work, such as this little timer I have here. It has a magnet in the back to attach to a fridge or something like that. This type of magnet is very weak, so I don't recommend using something like this. Rather, you need to get yourself some rare earth metal magnets, such as these ones. They come in circles, squares, these little cylinders I like to play around with. Something like this will be very good at detecting non-magnetic me uh, metals in jewelry. So all we're going to do here is just run it across all the pieces, see what sticks. After that, I'll tell you guys which ones are actually gold and which ones are not. Just so you see how effective the test is and to see if it will fit into your situation. Because everyone's different and everyone has different pieces. So let's get into it. We'll start from left to right, bottom to top. So starting out with this one, nothing. And I think we got a hit, but not crazy strong, but strong enough for me to move it without just tapping it. This guy, nothing. Well, that guy, definitely. That guy stood right up. This guy, nothing. This guy, instantly. And the chain in the back, nothing. Now, when it comes to testing chains with a magnet, you need to be careful with clasp, as sometimes they'll have springs in them made out of other materials that won't be gold, and these will stick to the magnet. This one in particular didn't, but most of the time they do. You can see the clasp right there. This one, it didn't stick to it. Now, to go over, actually, let's try out the fridge magnet next. So, let's just separate the ones that did stick to the magnet, which were these three right here. And let's try the fridge magnet on it, see how effective it is. Fridge magnet, just a good old cooking timer I have here. Sticks to it, but doesn't quite lift it too much. Now, the ring, nothing on the ring. And this other ring... Nothing on there either. Just to see a back to back comparison, real quick. This is how it reacts to my strong magnets. No, it doesn't want to work. <laughs> and sticks to it. Of course, the stronger magnets you have, the more you have of them, the more effective the test is going to be. Just be careful with your hand, with your fingers, your skin when you're playing around with these, as they are very strong and they could cause some real damage. Now, you need to be careful with certain pieces here that aren't actually gold but still didn't stick to the magnet. For example, this ring right here, marked in the back for 18 karat. You can see it, or if you'll take my word for it. <laughs> you can see we did another test right here. Turns out green, this guy is mostly copper. It's for the most part copper, therefore it didn't stick to the magnet as copper isn't magnetic, but it's still not gold. So as you can see, I'm gonna put, lay out here all the stuff that isn't gold, just so you see which one's stuck and which one's didn't. So we got these three that stuck, we have this one that isn't gold that didn't stick. We have this one right here, which also isn't gold that didn't stick. And we have this one that also isn't gold and didn't stick. Now the two that are actual gold would be this 10 karat ring right here in old school and this 18 karat gold chain. Therefore, like many of these home tests, it is not 100% accurate. And you should seek expert advice if you want to be 100% certain as this type of stuff requires better tools, more expensive tools that most of us just simply don't have at home. So you shouldn't solely rely on this to fully assert that something is gold or not. You can of course mix up different methods of testing and that might be able to yield you better results, such as using acids. If we had used acids, right, on this one alone, I haven't tried it on these other two, but if we had tried acids on this one, now we would have taken out four of them, four of the potential eight, right? So my chances keep going up kind of thing. So that's what you want to try to do with these home tests. You're trying to eliminate as much as possible to see what's left. But a quick and dirty method if you're trying to test a lot of things is the magnet test. Just make sure you have a strong enough one and that'll be enough. I'll be putting out some other videos on different ways to test gold in case you're curious, in case you don't have access to rare earth magnets, you don't know where to get them. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for something that looks pretty good. I don't remember where exactly I got these. I think I got them in a local hardware store, but that's the video. 
Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.